a Chinese bike. It's called a Hawk 250. Oh, yeah? Cool, man. Can you wheel it? All right. Yeah, that thing's slow as hell. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it says Jujuki, yo. Yeah, it says Jujuki, yo. It says Jujuki, yo. New riders can say some of the dumbest things. Even when I was a new rider, I said a lot of dumb things, too. But in this video, I'm going to tell you five very dumb things that new riders say. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. I'm telling you, man, this is my most favorite helmet I've ever had. Ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield. I have a link to this helmet and my motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe. All my gear I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. New riders, I'm gonna tell you, no, one thing that's really dumb that they say is they don't want to take the MSF class, you know, because they get on a bike and they learn how to shift gears. Their buddy shows them how to do it and they get it and they're off and running out here on the streets. And they're like, dude, I forget it. I, I'm going, they go and get a temp license at the DMV and they're like, dude, I'm not taking the MSF class, man. I, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm an expert rider out here. <laughs> <laughs> because I can shift gears and, and, and half the time they're shifting gears wrong they shifting gears all over the place man <laughs> and uh and then oftentimes they'll go take the test at the the riding test at the DMV because anybody can go past the uh you know the written test and get their temp license but they'll go to the DMV and they'll take the driving test and about probably about 90% of the people fail and I, I doing that test man <laughs> because they don't have any skills man and it weeds out you know people that know how to ride people that don't know how to ride but i highly recommend that you take the msf class because they're going to teach you some defensive riding they're going to put you through the test they're going to make sure that you can ride before you get out of there man a lot of you new riders are riding out here on the street like a fool you don't know how to use your brakes properly you know you think you think because you rode i don't know for a couple of months or something you think you're a great rider uh because you didn't crash or anything you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but let a car pull out in front of you like it did me that one time you're probably going to go over the hood of that car and have a real effed up day and you're probably going to quit riding a motorcycle and you're going to go around and say the motorcycles are dangerous <laughs> and your parents are too so uh to avoid that frustration you need to take the msf class and you should watch my defensive riding videos i have a video link in the description and comment section of this video to show you how to properly do some defensive riding out here to keep you safe out here on the streets you know what i'm saying yeah baby <laughs> love ripping on this bike and that brings it this point up here is that for those of you guys that, that want to get your first bike and you you want to bypass the smaller bikes because you think you're wasting your time you think you're going to lose money on the deal um and you you think it's going to be boring riding the smaller bikes but what you don't realize and what you will, probably will realize one day when you get out here and you ride a bunch of different bikes like i have you'll realize that you can only go so fast out here on the city streets unless you want to, you know, get caught by the police and get a felony charge and be put in jail with the booty warrior. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, to avoid that, I'm telling you, these small bikes you can rip on. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... You're not going crazy speeds, you know what I'm saying? And get a bike with a lot of, a smaller bike with a good amount of torque. And I'll tell you, you it's going to feel good and fun. It's the torque that's fun, the power at the bottom out here on the streets. You know, if you're going to be a highway bandito, yeah, the lead to bikes, but that those are for fools out there, you know what I'm saying? Take it to the track, and at the track, you want to start small anyhow and work your way up. You know what I'm saying? The problem is that so many new riders want to leapfrog and want to be, they want to, they want to uh, run before they can crawl. <laughs> and that's why a lot of new riders end up having a real effed up day. It's because they, 
They don't want to take the time and take the baby steps and work your way up to becoming a proper rider. And a lot, some of you guys are, you don't even want to shift. You're scared to shift. I hear a lot of the new riders out there, they're like, dude, I'm going to get an automatic motorcycle because, dude, I, I just want to be able to crank the throttle. I, I don't want to, shifting is stupid. It's boring. I mean, come on. You're going to have more fun with an automatic. And that could be the farthest from the truth. Automatics are fine. Don't get me wrong. If you got a problem, a handicap or something, you know, and you, you can't shift gears or something, automatic is fine, man. You can still have fun on automatic. But I'm telling you, shifting gears is half the fun of riding. And that brings me to another point that people bring up that uh, irritates me is I hear new riders say, I want to get a liter bike so I can shift less, so I don't have to shift hardly. I can throw it in first, because first gear will do like 80 miles an hour. I can ride around town in first or second gear and I don't have to shift. <laughs> That's like the stupidest, dumbest thing I've ever heard. And new riders say this. These, this is just stuff new riders say. Shift, like I said, shifting is half the fun, man. I'll tell you the best skill that you can have out here on the streets that I keep telling you guys over and over is that defensive riding is what, keep, what keeps you alive out here on the street. It's survival. It's not speed. It's not doing wheelies or knee slides. And that brings me to another point that I hate, that I cringe when I hear new riders say is they want to learn how to do a knee slide. <laughs> I'm going to school you here that for you noobs out there, understand a knee slide slider when you go around a corner at a track, but some of you guys do it out here on the streets, uh, and you actually touch your knee down when you go around the corner, it's a byproduct because of you going fast around the corner. It's not a trick in its own, okay? Even though some of you guys are do like 40 miles an hour around a corner and purposely lean your bikes over like, like idiots to purposely slide your knee around the corner, <laughs> which is, is hilarious to me. I see these guys on YouTube that do it. They're, they're going slow around the corner and pushing that, pushing that angle down to try to, and some of them even purposely lean their body over a whole lot more. I mean, they're, they're practically hanging off the bike <laughs> just to slide a knee and their bike is upright still. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then when they get off their bike they take a video uh, they take a picture of a scrape on their knee and they're like oh look at me baby deuces <laughs> I did a knee slide yeah I'm the boss I'm the baddest right out here baby you can't touch me I can do a knee slide out here on the streets <laughs> dude seriously man seriously okay Real riders, riders that had ride track, which are they're, are good riders, or even just riding out here on the street that have been riding for years, with some common sense, will tell you that purposely doing a knee slide around corners is idiotic. Okay, these are for morons out here, okay? Even if you have the skills to do 100 miles an hour around a corner, and get a knee slide or an elbow slide. You certainly do not want to be doing that out here on the streets because we got gravel. Look at this gravel around here. We got gravel. We got animals running across the street. Got, oh man. So you have a high chance of low siding. The key to this video is take baby steps, okay? Work your way up through the power classes of bikes if you want to do the high speed around corners, go to the track, get a track day in. Start small though, get on a 300, 400. Don't get on a super sport or super bike. You don't have the skills for them yet. Uh, work your way up. But anyways guys, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. Name some other things, stupid things that noobs say and let's have a laugh about it. And let's school them on it. But I want you new riders, the takeaway for you new riders out there is that I want you to get Work your way up in skills. Take the MSF class. Take the advanced rider class. Look at my defensive riding videos. Just enjoy yourself out here. Stay safe. Wear all the gear. I have links to all my gear. This is some of the best gear, especially airbag vest to help keep you safe. And of course, this ultra lightweight helmet, auto tent shield. Link in the description and comment section of this video. 
So don't forget to subscribe to my All In One Motorcycle channel and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.